So if like a, a psychic, you know, as the media would portray it, you know, mm -hmm. she's got her crystal ball and the turban and stuff. Mm -hmm. She might not have all of the powers that the media will portray, but there are people like that who dress like that and are into that stuff. And there are people who are aware of things mm -hmm. and experience some level of this phenomenon that serves as kind of like a, a seed mm -hmm. for these kind of fantasies to grow. Yeah. Is that... Yeah, when it comes to... It's all to, real, right? Ghosts are real. Yeah, I'm sort of... I set my... I have, I have barriers. I stay within the parameters of things that I can articulate and understand. When you get into areas like psychics, it's kind of outside my area. So I'm sort of indifferent when it comes to psychic and whether or not, whether or, or they are capable or, or incapable. That's not really an issue for you. Uh, it's more the phenomenon is what's interesting. No, my interest more here is my infatuation for, because I'm high functioning in autism. So me having a vested interest in certain types of mental disorder allowed me to have a more deeper understanding of myself. Like one of my um, biggest infatuation at one time was what is love. And I came to the conclusion that love is a, a mirrored manifestation or a reflection of our the deepest desire. This is sort of paradoxical because how could one be in love with themselves? But when you study the individuals that you were infatuated with, there's certain aspect of, the, of, of, of their characteristics that is ingrained deep within our own psyche, whether it's, it is suppressed or not suppressed. So, Studying individuals who fall outside the new, outside the new typical spectrum allows you to understand phenomena, certain aspects of human phenomena. Like one of my, one of my favorite philosophies are uh, epistemology, which is a study of uh, existence yeah. and authenticity and all that stuff, and certain ideas of solipsism. And during mania, they go into this phase, a sort of authenticity, where the existence precedes essence, the whole idea of uh, reality being a, a projection or some sort of mirror reflection of something that's internal. So these are the areas I find intriguing because these things are self-referential and it's empirical. It's also theoretical, it's also inferential, and, and it's also anecdotal. It can be true or false, because when you get into stuff like apophrenia, pareidolia, um, um, hallucination, delusion, psychosis, schizophrenia, you end up in an area where you can't really determine if these experiences are just subjective or, it's sub it's an, or it is objective. And these patterns are only detectable to people who are impaired and initiated with some sort of esoteric of secure knowledge. So this is, this is real stuff I find intriguing. Hmm.